now we move on to the final figure in the 2016 Battle Week. Since this time we're going to take a look at Umarak the Hunter. Now Umarak the Hunter is actually the largest set in the wave. I made a mistake by saying that Kopaka was. But in reality, when we look at his box here, he's set 71310 and he's actually at 172 pieces, making it just one more piece compared to Kopaka. So actually Umarak is the largest set of the 2016 wave up to this point. Take a look at the back as normal. And this is a part, once again, of the $20 price point. So we're just going to move that to the side. What's interesting about this set is that the biggest selling point to the set is not so much the character, while it does look nice and so on, it's because it actually includes the Mask of Control. So that's really nice that we actually got the Mask of Control to go alongside the Mask of Creation, which we got in the set with the Kimu. But anyway, so now take a look at Umarak. Now Umarak, while it does take maintain mostly the same articulation points. It is a few different in a few areas. First of all, his head is in a ball joint, which allows full movement over there. He does have ball joints in the shoulders, ball joints in the elbows, ball joints in the wrists, has the waist joint, ball joints in the hips, ball joints in the knees, ball joints in the ankles. However, he does have this kind of mechanical design where using this component here, he has an extra kind of leg movement using the little piston pieces here, so it does have a little bit more articulation than the standard sets up to this point. He does feature a stud shooter, which is built onto the crossbow weapon. What's cool is that, by the way, that these ports on his hands work. He can actually bend it into several different ways so that you can, can display him in several different ways instead of just being a standard crossbow. Shooting stance, you can kind of move it around and it makes it a lot more interesting that you can actually put it in different positions. He does feature a, another weapon which can actually be attached onto the blade as well, which we're just going to quickly pull this off. So if we don't want the crossbow weapon in general, we can give him a spear weapon instead. So we're just going to quickly attach the components and give him a spear. So now he's just got a standard spear weapon which can be held in either hand pretty well. And it does have that kind of gimmick where you can remove the mask again, but with these versions of the masks it's a little bit harder to actually accomplish. So we're just going to quickly reattach it as a crossbow. There we go. So now we got it back into crossbow mode. And what's cool is that the mask can actually fit on his head really well, and it works pretty nicely actually for what it needs to do. Now, this set also includes a trap, but it's not like the standard type of traps you've seen up to this point, since what we do is detach the shoulder pieces and they actually form the trap. So we're going to remove it, and sometimes the max does pop off, so we're just going to quickly reattach it. For some reason, the mask is coming off quite easily today. For some reason, just trying to position him so that he can stand with no major issues. Okay, there. I'm going to reattach the mask. And then, what we do is that how this works is that we're just going to, as if we're trying to build the trap in the first place, we're going to plug the ports in like this. And it actually comes with this extra piece so that you can form the middle part. So you can add that little attaching ability like we've seen previously. It'd be easier to actually attach it before we connect them together. So we're just going to quickly attach it. So with that, we can actually form the trap like normal. So now we got this part of the trap here. And actually what we're going to do next is take the claw pieces, which are another points of articulation, which I forgot to mention earlier, and they will actually form the legs for the little trap here. So as you can see, you kind of need to pretty much take off most of his armor pits just so you can 
create the creature. Well, it would be nice to actually have another creature just released alongside it. It is interesting that his armor pieces can actually form one of these little traps. And there we have his trap, which isn't the most unique by any means since it just has the regular claw pieces. It does have the chain and it does have the standard little red orb piece there. But that's pretty much it for it in trap mode. We're going to quickly reattach the pieces since just like the Toa, he can actually combine with one of the other creatures. However, it is a repeat, so for those who have been collecting line up to this point, will probably want to just get another Protector of Jungle since he actually attaches to that set. So we're just going to quickly detach all the parts so that we can form his shoulder bits again. We're just going to reattach the shoulders. Which can be a bit tricky due to the way that his shoulders are designed since all these little ports like to move quite a bit. Okay, we got one of the shoulders on. Now we're going to reattach the other one. There we go. And now, we're going to take the Creature of Jungle, here, if I remember correctly, and reattach it to the back of Umarak. And while it did work really well with Liwa, I actually think it works a lot better connected to Umarak, which we're going to show here. As you can see, we're just going to push the headpiece like normal over the mask. Now we got Umarak with the mask of control connected to the, the creature of jungle. So as you can see it looks really menacing when attached with the creature of jungle and I think it works one of the best types of combinations for the sets up to this point. Now, 2016 is going to have another set of Bionicles releasing in, if I remember correctly, in the summertime of this year. So, it's going to be really interesting to see the brand new sets, and hopefully we'll have some really cool sets down the line. What's cool, is I forgot to mention, is that he also includes the little clip as well, so that's really nice that... It does feature a way that you can still store it, and I'm really glad that LEGO decided to add in those just a little bit of extra play value for each of the sets. So that pretty much covers the 2016 Bionicles, at least in the first half of 2016. So I'll be back to bring more reviews for Bionicle when the new sets come up. But for now, please comment, subscribe, and check out Hirotaka, where this video will be posted to. Also, please check out my Twitter under Darkon633, and please check out the other channels down below. And... I'll be seeing you too. Bye.